<clears throat> so guys, today is the England final of the Euros. And I'm in Warwickshire. I'm in rural Warwickshire, it's beautiful here. There's some tractor activity going on in the fields behind, but that'll finish before I go to bed. And we're at a little village called Long Itchington. I'll put the name up here. Beautiful little village. And there's a pub called the Green Man. And that pub has this little campsite. It's only a small field beautifully kept at the rear of the pub. Now, fortunately, they do have a TV, so I'll be able to watch the uh, England-Spain game. Unfortunately, they've stopped serving food. It's Sunday, and they do Sunday lunches. Once that's finished, uh, I don't even know what time, but I'll, I'll put the times up. Uh, once lunch is done, that's it for a Sunday. So, I have got some food with me. There is a little supermarket in the village uh, and I've just gone and got some meat uh, to go with the stir fry. So last night I was in Wiltshire and when I arrived at the campsite, it was thundering it down with rain. So much so that I just went in the pub and had a pint, waited for the weather to ease off, not stop, but ease off and then got the tent up. Mm. There are some rain clouds there, but it doesn't feel as if it's going to rain. But I am going to get the tent up first. Once I've got the tent up, uh, I'll give you a quick whiz around the uh, campsite because it's very, very small. And uh, then I'm going to get some uh, tea on uh, before I head in for the football. Beautiful little site, this. And I'll give you more details later on. Yeah, so basically I'm stood in the middle of the field now, the camping field. Uh, you'll see where the Honda NX500 is and the Robins Buck Creek 2 tent. Uh, there's a picnic bench just to the right hand side under the trees, which is very nice, especially if it was uh, very hot uh, and very sunny. And um, there is a stream runs behind that hedge line. And then over to the uh, left of me, there are numbered uh, parking places for camper vans. Don't think there's any electric hookups here. Very basic site. It has toilet showers and the showers are free. And really from uh, where I am now, that's the, uh, that's the campsite. But basically from where I'm stood, we're nearly at the car park in the back of the pub. Entry to the uh, camping field is from uh, the, coming off the road, the village road, uh, down a bit of a tarmac uh, drive to the car park at the rear of the pub. And there's a beer garden there at the back and there's uh, tables at the front as well. And your entrance onto the uh, field is via this little bit of gravel set into the, uh, to the grass. Very easy. You could leave your bikes on the uh, car park if you wanted, but the grass is very firm. It's um, absolutely no problem for parking on the, on the grass. Don't know what sort of beer they have here, but I'll find out a little bit later. And that's your uh, little beer garden and the back door in the pub. This uh, here is the shower block, effectively. Um, a chemical waste point just there. Fresh water is just at the back, near the back door of the pub. Yeah, so basically, you've got a wet room with electric shower, free, toilet, sink, the soap there as well, hot water, and a dryer. Oh, there's me again. <laughs> uh, 
and that's where you get your fresh water from that tap there so we're just now going to go in the back door of the pub this door's uh, left open overnight um, obviously you haven't got access to the pub part but going through this door gives you access to the toilets which down here it's got ladies on the right gents on the left uh, so this is the front of the pub the uh, green man um, lovely looking pub isn't it really nice I'm fully expecting the beer is going to be really nice as well. You go down the left of the uh, pub to its one-way system to get to that car park at the back. Uh, and then um, you come out through an exit just about 20 yards up the road there. Can you see where the uh, church spire is? Uh, opposite the church, that's where the uh, co-op supermarket is. And there's a cash point there as well. Not sure at this stage where the nearest larger town or shops are, but um, I'll report back on that when I find out, or I'll put it up on screen. Um, it's cost uh, £10 for the night, that's solo traveller. And um, the only niggle to it is you have to book through pitch, pitchup.com. Um, so they take their fee, but um, still £10, it's pretty reasonable for a pub campsite and one that's uh, got a really nice little like, field at the back. So guys, that's, uh, that's your tour done. Uh, it was a very brief one. It's a very small site, but it's a lovely village. Uh, supermarket, church, there's other pubs in the village as well. Um, there are restrictions on when they cook here. They don't cook all week. I think it's just maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm not so sure entirely. Uh, but I'll put a link up so that you can join or go on to their Facebook page where you get the relevant information. I'm going to go get something to eat now before I go get a couple of pints to watch the football. A nice beef Singapore noodles. Mm. So that's it guys, uh, packed up, bikes ready, packed, ready to go. Uh, just got to get my jacket on, helmet on and I'm off. Weather's been a bit mixed, uh, had a little bit of rain this morning, but it was only light. But there's a weather forecast coming in, sweeping up through the country, and uh, I'm going to head north. Uh, maybe stop and see if the uh, if I can find a bit of the country that's not going to be under heavy rain. If not, I'll probably go home. However, anyway, just a quick sum up of this uh, campsite. Uh, I've really enjoyed it here. There's only one other tent and two vans that were uh, parked up for the night, uh, so it was quite comfortable. And the pub, as you've seen. Um, from certainly the outside. I couldn't film inside because it was just too busy. But the pub's really good. And um, I, personally, I, I quite like this site. It is small and um, I think at a weekend, maybe Friday, Saturday nights, it could be quite busy, this campsite, and it could be packed. So I think this is a good one for um, a weekday, maybe Sunday through till Thursday. Uh, I do think this will be very busy because it's only a very small site and it's a very popular pub. Lovely location. So, excellent uh, pub, excellent little campsite. I found the ground to be very good. It's relatively flat. Uh, it undulates in some little areas, but to be honest with you, um, I think it's okay. And um, I'd recommend it really highly, actually. But maybe through the week. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch up with you at another campsite.